First Colony Branch Library started off the new year with a seminar on how people can maximize flavor in their home cooking. Chef Ellen Schwartz's Flavorful Home Cooking Program teaches us how to maximize flavor in our food with ingredients right in our own home, as well as so much more. Okay, you know, just serve it and everything. Okay, so then I'm going to get my olive oil over here. I'm going to end up with my kitchen and just put uh, some olive oil in that trough there. Okay, today's seminar is all about changing your concept of cooking. It's my own individual, innovative approach to getting you out of the kitchen really fast, if that is your motive. If that's your goal, I'm going to show a new way to do that tonight. I would like them to have that ha 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 moment where they had never thought of this before and they understand the freedom now if they don't want to use a recipe, how they would be able to cook without it and uh, shop for other more interesting ingredients that are going to flavor their food better. Okay, now let's do um, salad. What do we got for salad? Lemon, lemon lime. Grapefruit is very underused, which is a great one for vinaigrette, grapefruit. Okay, so we got limes, which are sour and um, you know, all our citrus is sour. And then all our light products are sour in the refrigerator, there's three, sour cream, yogurt, and what? Mayo. We're gonna, do, we're gonna go through the palate, you know, your mouth, and where everything is tasted, and how it's combined with other things, and what makes, uh, you know, I'm gonna pull out a lot of things, there's gonna be tasting, there's gonna be, um, somebody's gonna have to come up here and season something based on their palate by tasting and try to get it right and see what ingredients are missing and what they need to add. And then I'm also gonna introduce quite a few new spices and seasonings that people probably have never heard of. Just guessing. <laughs> uh, okay, this is, uh, what are olives represent? What do olives represent? Salt. Salt. And then what do cucumbers represent? Bitter, unfortunately. Sometimes bitter. Okay, well, anytime you cook at home, you are saving calories, you're using the better products than in a restaurant, you're cooking, you're thinking of yourself, you're mindful of how much salt you're putting in something or how much sugar, and perhaps if you go to a really wonderful restaurant, they are pretty much grabbing the salt, and some people are trying to stay away from that, So, uh, or sugars, and so like, you know, you, when you go out, you may not know what kind of hamburger meat they're actually putting in the burger, like is it from the sirloin, from the, that part of the cow, is it from the chuck, and what how much fat is there, but you can control all that at home. And I'm a private chef a lot of times, so for people that have just gotten out of the hospital, they hire me uh, for their relatives because they're on a special diet now, or they can't eat certain things, and it's very hard for them to just drive through somewhere and, and get what they want or pick it up. So um, I can prepare the food for them and deliver it and all, but uh, also you just can cook better at home. For more information about Chef Ellen and future events at First Colony Branch Library, please visit their website. For Great American Pastimes, I'm John Davis. <laughs>